I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, I'm still working on the North Brothers 1530AX handle. And we're almost done with it. The paint is dry to the touch. I still can't press on it or stick my thumbnail in it because down here on the tape you can see that it's still a little sticky. Having a variety of small dowels is helpful. These are skewers. Yeah, you can buy them in the kitchen section for very little money. And <laughs> they work out really nice for doing things like this. So I can set this over on the shelf. I'll show you. Scout Crafter has a furnace that he sets his things on top of. Well, if you look at my furnace, there's nothing to set anything on top of. I could put it up on top of the ductwork, but that's kind of inaccessible and hard to reach and pretty dirty. So I decided to use some of the materials that I have on hand, and one of those things is this little vise. Just a little no-name and it clamps to a shelf. It's actually designed to be clamped to the table so that you can work on small projects. And this is the Miller Falls uh, that I got at the ReStore a while back. They're both sitting over here on the shelf along with the rest of the vices and bits and pieces. So now this is going to sit over here undisturbed hopefully and have a few more days cure time. Uh, being able to have it right on the light made a huge difference and having it rotate made it so that the heat didn't build up on one side and bubble the paint. So that worked quite well. Well, the problem is now the rotisserie has died. It was a $2 item. I used it. I've got a couple of projects done with it. So it more than earned its keep, but it's going to need to go into the hospital to find out what's wrong with it. If it's damaged to the point of being unusable, then it's just going to go to the scrap heap and uh, turn into something else, maybe a teapot for somebody. But as it is, uh, if I were going to paint any more Elkid, which I have really no intention of doing, but you never know how those things work, I would probably come up with another way to rotate it around a heat source. I thought about using the heat gun, but the heat gun draws an awful lot of power for one thing. And the other thing is it blows a lot of air and the air tends to gather dust. So just having the handle rotate in front of the light gave it enough heat that it baked off some of the, the thinner in the stuff and it set up. And it set up in about eight hours. Just flat out hard. Now, like I said, it's still got a little more time to go. And once it got the outside surface hard, it's probably gonna go a lot slower on the drying. So I'm gonna give it some time. Uh, I don't think I'll need to give it the five days that it had before, but unless I come up with a different way to rotate the thing, like fixing the rotisserie so I can get it in front of the lamp again, it's going to sit over here and just be in the warm dry. So you can see a little bit of the storeroom and basically it's just a huge pile of stuff. Not anywhere near what I want it to be, but well, needs must. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Now, the idea is to finish this 1530. I've got the handle. The whole idea was to fill the, the hang hole. I went way beyond the normal thing of just filling it. I could have filled it, sprayed it with some color, didn't matter what it was, and then let it go. 
but the fill job worked so well and looked so nice I wanted to do a little bit more see how that gets you suckered into stuff don't buy into that guys when it's good walk away thanks for watching This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.